I will. Shalom. 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 First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahusha, Bashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect, pushing this true doctrine across the four winds of the earth and all truth and the sincerity. Hey, through the spirit, man, we're going to go into this lesson regarding the strange children, man. And just kind of elaborate on different avenues of Esau, man, and his, and his, and his ways of ruling in this current kingdom, man. How they are contrary to the laws, how they are just pretty much abominable acts. And the things he's doing, man, is just unordinary, man. That a, a sane man just typically wouldn't do. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to doing things of uh, 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 sex changes, man. That that that's that. Hey, man, that's an abomination, man. You know what I'm saying? How are you? Who are you to say that the Lord isn't perfect, man? When when you go uh, uh, um, to the book of Genesis, man, the Lord said it was good, man. You know what I'm saying? And then and, and you splicing atoms, making different hybrid animals. You know what I'm saying? They're doing all kind of crazy acts, man. And, and hey, man, that's why we sign, cry, and pray to the Lord, man, so we can be del deliver, man. Because as long as these strange children, the Edomites, continue in the fashion of the things they're doing, man, everything is going to be destroyed, man. Anybody got a precept? What you want to start over Start here in the, in the book of Revelation, chapter 18. <clears throat> and I read verse, verse 4 and 5. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. And that's going into predominantly the elect, man. You know what I'm saying? And that, that multitude, that one third, to not be intertwined with the folly and the wicked ways of this current rulership, man. Not to be a partaker in the uh, uh, wickedness that goes on within this, uh, shit, within the world, really, man, because the, this Edomite has pretty much corrupted the whole world, man. That's why he's pretty much considered a cancer, man. Because anywhere this man goes, death and destruction follows, man. From the time that he came into the Americas, man, <clears throat> killed off most of all of the, uh, the Native Americans, man. Haven't left yet. And, and this this once was a beautiful land, man. And now it's pretty much nothing but a zest food, man. It, it's, it's pretty pretty much destroyed, man. The air is polluted, the food is polluted, the water is polluted, the people are polluted. You know, it, it, hey, man. And we can't, but uh, hey, through the spirit of Hashem Al Shai, man. The Lord has called us particular men, Lord willing, we're those men that are part of the elect, out of the ways of this world, man. Not to be partakers. As uh, uh, most people are, man, you know what I'm saying? The scriptures say use the world, not abuse the world. So we have to do what we have to do to go out through our daily lives, man. But we separate ourselves from the ways of this current rulership, man. The ways that people follow, you know what I'm saying? We don't do celebrate no holidays and everything like that, man. We're, we're not eating pork. We're not sh uh, shaving our beards. You know what I'm saying? We're not committing adultery. You know, we separated ourselves, man, from that, man. Because like Yahweh Shai said, we are not of the world as he is not of the world, man. Verse 5, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has remembered her iniquities. Hey, that's a whole lot of wickedness, man. That's a whole lot of dirt, man. That's a whole lot of blood, man. Hey, Esau has a lot to answer for, man. This, this man has done so much, man, that his wickedness has reached the heavens, man. You know what I'm saying? His report... It's horrible, man. His report is, it, it, hey, man, it's, it's terrible, man. There's nothing that has reached the heavens that says a good thing about Esau, man. Only thing it has said is lies, death, destruction, corruption, you know what I'm saying, and wickedness, man. It's, it, it's nothing good that's going to come out this guy, man. This is Psalms 144 and 11. Rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children whose mouth speak vanity and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. And who, who are these strange children, man? It's, it's Esau, man. The Edomite, the so-called white man. The fork-tongued devil, man. Only thing he do is speak lies. Only thing he do is deceive people. Lie, cheat, steal, kill. Hey, anything that's wicked, hey, he, he, he's doing it, man. Can I say something? Then it talks about the, the right hand of falsehood because when you go into the Hebrew origin of, of, of right, 
This is supposed to be a place of honor and authority. So it's saying that basically where Esau on his right hand is still deception and falsehood, man. Going to show you that is the reason why Esau is labeled as a, as the strange children as well as the wicked, man. It's the book of John chapter 10 verse 10. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that, and that they might have it more abundantly. Hey, who has that track record of going anywhere and pretty much stealing and killing and destroying, man, until this day, man? It's Esau, man. He's the one that's going from uh, uh, nation to nation, man. Uh, spreading his so-called democracy, man, so he can plant his feet there, stay there, and, and, and just take over, man. You know what I'm saying? Just take, just take the resources, destroy the people, and, and uh, uh, corrupt the lands, man. And because the people, the people say God, uh, God bless America, and no place else, you know. But they, what has America reaped? What have the rulers of this land reaped throughout the entire planet Earth? As we all know, even com coming up as children, what does it say? You reap what you sow. Mm -hmm. So if, if you're reaping nothing but evil and wickedness throughout the entire planet Earth, what do you expect to, uh, to receive in return, James, man? Mm -hmm. You can't receive anything a, bl a blessing-wise. You can't receive anything good-wise from the Heavenly Father. Right. So what are you going to receive? Because for every act or every particular uh, uh, thing that is committed, there's a consequence or a repercussion for that uh, deed or act, mm -hmm. you know? And the scriptures say that the Heavenly Father is going to hold every man accountable, whether his deeds be good or evil. That's right. You know? And the precept for y'all. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 48, verse 22. There is no peace, said Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, unto the wicked. Right. So there's no peace, man. Because why this man's origin goes back to being the wicked. And that's the reason why hey, this world is in the shape that it's in, man. That's the, that's the reason why our people are in the shape that they're in, man. Okay, because why Esau controls this, this, this mechanism or this place we call the world. Right. That's right. It's the book of. Yes, it's the book of Psalm, chapter fifty-five, verse. I'll start at twenty. He hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He hath broken his covenant. Mm -hmm. Gad, man. Peace trees. That's it, man. Yep. And that's what it says in the footnote. It says tree. So who's that man who went out through who, who made pacts, covenants, and treaties and contracts with the people of, of the planet? So, and we can specifically talk about the tribe of Gad, uh, Gad which are our brothers, you know, of the numerous and multiple treaties that were broken. And we don't, uh, uh, if you can't calculate the quantity on the amount, just keep in mind that it was all of them. Right. Whatever number that is, whatever calculation you come up with, it was every last one of those that were broken and not kept. Mm -hmm. uh, because be, and because of that uh, uh, bastard that dwelt in uh, Ashdod, because of that Caucasoid, because of that Edomite, because of Esau himself, man. Esau has a perpetual, a perpetual hatred that he keeps against the Heavenly Father's chosen people. That's right. And there's not one good thing that he's done on the planet Earth. Everything th that has occurred has been through rape, robbery, murder, bloodshed, Deceit, deceit mm -hmm. manipulation, mm -hmm. lies, yep. separation of families, everything under the sun. That's why when you read the book of Revelation, eight, the 18th chapter, it talks about how, how, how those sins of her have reached unto the heavens. You know? So now you have to communicate to your children on same sex marriage. You have to communicate to your children in kindergarten, first, second, and third grade on Harry wanting to be called Harriet now. Right. Or you got a, a, a caller want to be called Christopher now. Yeah. You got to explain these things to the children based upon what? The rules of this world who have set darkness in a place of light, you know? And because before these options were given, there was no recollection or in anybody trying to figure out whom they were because it was evident who the hell they were. Right. A man wore the pants and a woman, she wore the dresses. There was not anything about you want to chop your pedo off right. or her wanting to, to, to stitch one on. That's confusion, and the Heavenly Father is not the author of confusion, but man is. And who is that man? That man of perdition. That's right. That, that, this Edomite, all right? And, and the Edomites are going, to, are going to go into captivity. And the Edomites planted right now their rulership, this seat or this throne that they're sitting upon. The Heavenly Father is, 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 is very swiftly and, and very soon pulling that chair from beneath them, man. This is the 
Proverbs, verse 21, says the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. And he, he'll always make it sound good, man. When he go to these different countries, when he came over and took over Gad, man, you know, he'll go and he'll say these nice, smooth things. But like I say, the words in his heart, man, as soon as y'all make a treaty, he go ahead and break it, man. He go ahead and just go completely against the grain and do what he have to do to conquer and destroy whatever uh, uh, place he in, man. I mean, he, he's the devil, man. This is the devil the Bible speaks about. He's the so-called white man. He's that same guy who always, he, he played a victim, man, when he's always the villain, man. Right. And, and, and that's pretty much all it boils down to. Yeah, I was going to make a point. That's why they always... <laughs> No, that's why we don't believe them because when they be in the news, they'll say things like, uh, we're not going we're gonna to do away with our nuclear power, our nuclear weaponry, things right. and such. According to the Bible, that's how America going to get destroyed. Mm -hmm. So that's how we know Esau. Uh, another point he liked to break out, um, you know, he like to bring out this peace amongst other nations. According to the scripture, said, you know, uh, when they should speak peace, then sudden destruction. Mm -hmm. so that's how we know that Esau, he's coming with that great wrath on the tribes, man. Right. He's going to that Jacob's trouble. Right. Is, is, is this the same guy who will go to nations and try to do a, 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 a treaty or a country, or however you want to put it, as far as controlling, like the brother said, nuclear weapons and everything, trying to keep them out of other countries? But America, the one who dropped the atomic bomb. Right. I mean, you don't want nobody to have weapons, but you want to have a weapon that can destroy everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Who's, who's gonna, really going to do that, man? That's why all the other nations are going to come against this horror, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's tired of this devil, man. His, his, his wickedness and his, his deceit has just gone too far, man. Everybody's fed up. Yeah, all things reach their, reach their expiration date. Come. And this is just the expiration date that the Heavenly Father has set forth on this particular kingdom. That's right. That's right. Yeah, when yeah, you brought out the point that you got to teach your kids, you know, uh, what Esau be teaching them, you know, you got to pretty much extract that from them, let them know the real truth. So this is going to a quote by the, uh, this guy named Bertrand Russell. He says, men are born ignorant, not stupid. They are made stupid by education. Mm. So whose education they made yeah. stupid by? Mm -hmm. Right. You know? That's right. Hey, because ignorance is nothing but a, a form of not knowing something. Yeah, that's right. I, may be, I may be ignorant upon the way that a traffic light is wired up mm -hmm. and how it functions, but I do know that it turns red, yellow, and green. Yeah. <laughs> but my ignorance is in the, in, the in electrical routing on how it's actually a, 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 a mechanics of it. The mechanics of it. And that's what it goes into. But stupidity is something that's tough because you're intentionally dumbed down by a, 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 an opposing force. Mm -hmm. You know? And so the people in this world are dumbed down due to uh, television, mm -hmm. due to music, yeah. due to the, uh, the internet, social media, religion. Due to religion. Mm -hmm. And why? Because man hovered these particular objects over your head and gave you only these options to choose from. Mm -hmm. So therefore, uh, you were purposely made dumbed down. You were now purposely uh, made stupid because you're no longer in the ignorance phase. You know now you're just a, a brute beast. You know uh, 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 waiting to be taken and destroyed. That's right. Yeah, so yeah. This is Job thirty and eight. They were children of fools. Yea, children of base men. They were viler than the earth. Hmm. Hey, so who's that vile? That, that vile creature is viler than the earth, man. So-called white man, when, and when you look at somebody who, who who's interested in cannibalism, when you look at somebody who's interested in bestiality, when you look at oh, oh when you look at somebody who's interested in pedophilia, you know three and four year olds, man. I'm talking about, and then you got people in, uh, nowadays who doing it to two month year olds, man. You know, when you got people who are uh, uh, acceptable to chopping your rod off, as we were talking about mm -hmm. the transgender movement, man, LGBT not. And, and, and everything that comes in between it. You got people, you know what I'm saying? He said that the same man who's interested in drinking human blood, you know, sacrifice uh, human sacrifices, that, that is a creature that is more vile than the earth, man. Uh, that, that's why the Heavenly Father, the only uh, a rectification, the only way that you can correct that behavior is to uproot it. That's why the Heavenly Father is not going to leave this man neither root nor branch. He's going to completely remove him from the face of the planet. It's going to start with the removal of his kingdom first. Because he showed the world, he showed the entire planet Earth on how not to handle the gift of the, of the Heavenly Father. Because rulership on the planet Earth was a gift that the Heavenly Father gave unto the nation, so to speak. He gave them that time to rule. 
Now Esau came in with the, 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 the perfect storm, so to speak, on what not to do, what not how to be, not how to rule, everything, man. He did everything wrong. That's why the air is polluted, the water's polluted, the buildings are decaying, the roadways are, are terrible, the bridges are falling apart, the stadiums are falling in. Everything about this place is, 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 is has conformed to a non-conformity. Because it's not conforming to what? The way that the Heavenly Father originally set it up. But he allowed this man to rule, to be the whooping stick unto his people, right? To give them a great, terrible place to dwell before he gave them that great kingdom that he promised unto our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right. Yeah. Daniel 4 17, this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High rule in the kingdom of men and give it to whomsoever he will and set up over it the basis of men. Yep. So every nation that uh, out of that nation of charts, they had uh, some type of rulership on this planet Earth. So when we be set up in the kingdom, no nation would be like, well, we never had our chance. Let's show you how justified Most High is and how just he is, you know? Back in um, scripture, it states, uh, and give it to whomsoever he will, yep. and set up over it the basis of men. Right. Yeah, Esau, he's the basis of all other nations, man, on this planet Earth, man. You know? That's why I call him in, uh, in the book of Hebrews, uh, you know, he's, uh, you know, he's profane, or he's outside the temple. You know? Because he don't adhere to none of the ways of you, how about your own shot? That's right, you know? No, you go ahead. This is Psalm 58, verse 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Like just like it was just the 50th anniversary of this so-called moon landing back like a few days ago. And, you know, Esau, you know, he used all his manipulations, you know, telling the people what the great achievement that they made by landing on the moon. Right. Why can't you land on a light? You know what I'm saying? The moon is a light. If that's the case, then. How come they not landing on the sun? You know what I'm saying? Cause that's another light of the heavenly father, man. Mm -hmm. So it's being brought out more and more now that Esau, his lives is coming about. Mm -hmm. You had a uh, famous rock band by the name of Red Hot Chili Peppers. You know, they brought out how, uh, in this song called California Cations, that uh, this Hollywood uh, moon that was in the studio. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So people, been, you know, they bring this country, this place down by just by, uh, you know, so bringing the lies forth to the people, man. Everybody's waking up. Yeah. And it makes sense because like landing on the moon is like landing on a light. Right. You can't even put your finger on a light. Right. You know what I'm saying? When it's extremely hot. So it only makes sense. And they said it was stationed somewhere where in the, the bottom. Yeah, it was in one of the uh, studios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was a studio. It was a studio. Hey, because if you read that documentary, a funny thing happened on the way to the moon. It goes into the, the, the hiccups or the bloopers of that uh, 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 orchestrating the fake moon landing, man. You know? And that documentary is on YouTube. A funny thing happened on the way to the moon, and it shows the deception of this man, and what, and which what we're talking about. So, if you ha if you land on the moon 50 years ago, never ever 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 return. Right. The, the scriptures say that this man never, he cannot keep it at home. So you, do you not think that he would travel back and forth to the moon? Yeah. Do you not think that he would finally, uh, what you call when you make money off of it? He, you know, would not he try to have some type of shuttles? Oh, yeah, Back and forth, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Onto the rich and the wealthy. Yeah, yeah. Resorts and everything. Visit your moon today, you know. Yeah, yeah. They type for he, He's going to capitalize off of it. Mm -hmm. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah. He will capitalize off of that, yeah, man. Yeah. You know, and then a few years ago when Obama was in office, he made the deception, you know, he made a, uh, a statement going over, you know, we've been to the, you know, we've been to the moon already. Now it's time to go beyond that, you know. And, and so just feed into the lies of deceit, man. Yeah. Yeah. And the Heavenly Father is not with that, man. The Heavenly Father is not with that at all. But the master deception of the people, the Heavenly Father gives them over in, uh, unto being acceptable unto those things, mm -hmm. man. You know, so if, you, if you're caught by by these particular stumbling blocks that are set uh, 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 before your path, then the Heavenly Father, he just set a roadblock for you. Mm -hmm. For a blank period. But at the end of the day, the orchestration of lies, manipulate, manipulation, deceit, rob, uh, murdering, and rape of this world, and the people in it, man, it's all orchestrated and conducted by the Edomites. That's right. That's 
Right. Because one of the main things is uh, it said in the book of Daniel that knowledge should be increased. So look how advanced technology is nowadays compared to, well, I want to say it was 1960-something, 69, when they made that so-called moon landing. So you mean tell me from 1969, or whatever year it was from, until 2019, they can't make no type of advancements now to go again on there? Mm -hmm. Right. Like, come on, man. This, <laughs> people got to read between lines. I just be reading the comments on videos like that, and you got people still believing that shit. Right. right? You know? Yeah, they put the flag there, but the goddamn yeah. uh, flag was blowing. The wind was blowing. You know what I'm saying? I had one big ass fan. Yeah. And they look at the Red Bull commercial. Yeah, yeah. Like they just put it out there on front street in a, in a joking fashion. Yep. But they told me right then they never went to the damn moon. Let's go shoot in the studio. Yeah. That's right. I just finished off the song. You got something? Yeah, I'm going to bring that one. You want to finish it off? Yeah, that'll read the last little verse. Song. A, song, a song 55 and 23. It says, but thou, O power, shalt bring them down into the pit of destruction, bloody and deceitful men. And that's knocking out their rulership, yep. all right? And then it, the scripture also gives you the characteristic of Esau because it says they're bloody and deceitful Sin. men, all right? This world operates off of deceit, yeah, right. and they done murdered to get to the top. That's right. You know, the scripture, when you read the Apocrypha, says, uh, as iron rusted, so does his wickedness. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got it? Okay, I'll, I'll just bring it out. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in thee. Because they contrary to the law, statutes, and commandments. They break all 613 law, statutes, and commandments. Yeah. All right, the law is life, and they're anti-law. So now you have two opposing factors. Right. Then you know, two-thirds of the nation of Israel, they subscribe to the ways of Esau. Yeah. You know, they're going to follow, they're going to be in the same predicament as Esau when Yahushua comes back, man. Yeah, you know? yeah. That's why Yahushua told two-thirds of our people, you are your father yeah, the, the devil. devil. You know, that's their spiritual father this time. This is Ecclesiasticus, the book of Sirach in the Apocrypha, chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thy enemy, for like iron rusted. Two thirds of our people trust um, 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 our enemy, yeah, right? Man. They believe in the system, yeah. whether it's the military, whether it's the form of democracy, whether it's the Christ Christianity, yeah. whether it's their college system, whether it's their health care program, yeah. or so on and so forth. They can trust in Esau, man. And that goes to show you how shaky that relationship is because when um, 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 Trump had cut down, cut out that funding, look how our people damn near broke, man. Yeah. You know, and so then instead of giving allegiance or pledging um, to Yahweh Hashem Shah, what did they do? They were begging Trump. And meanwhile, calling on the name Sweet Jesus, man. For like iron rusted. So iron is guaranteed, iron will rust, man. It's guaranteed, iron rust. That's just, just the mechanism or the dynamics of it. Go ahead, bro. So is his wickedness. And Esau is just like that. So just like iron will rust, Esau will, will continue to be wicked. Man. It's like most definitely going to happen. Most definitely. You can, you can entrust in that. So you see him promoting something on TV, they always keep talking about it in mainstream media, I always go the other way, man. <laughs> just don't believe that shit. Man. That's right. That's it. That's it. Hey, Lord willing, you brothers edify. Want to give all praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash, Double honor to the apostles and elders, great millstone. Shalom, shalom. shalom.